Y'all, let's talk about Singles Inferno. Don't mind my hair. Actually, much more like it. <laughs> um, Look, at the end of the day, that was a little crazy what was going on in my head. But Singles Inferno, I've been watching Singles Inferno since season two. I have not seen season one. And um, I just decided to do a video because I've been on a show. But this season in particular, season three, I'm not going to lie. Very good season. Very entertaining. I'm not going to lie. Let's keep it a buck. Even though I don't like this guy and the shit that I'm going to say about him in this video is not going to be nice. But let's give our props to where... Let's give credit to where credit is due. Guan He, he is making the season. He is carrying the season on his back. Half of the drama revolves around Guan He. I'm not going to sit here and act like the other participants of the show are not putting in their work but he is the bulk of the drama and i'm not gonna lie good job but let's talk about it um honestly i also wanted to film this video because i was just going through my socials like tiktok not really tiktok but mainly youtube and i saw that singles inferno actually has a huge fan base and i was actually kind of shocked because i mean of course i'm in america so it probably might not be as popular here but it has a pretty big fan base online and then it just popped up on my instagram as well and i was like oh shit i was like oh sh like this is pretty huge i guess everybody's interested in it and it that was another reason why i didn't want to do a review about it because um i was like what if people don't even know the show but if y'all don't watch like uh asian production y'all probably don't watch singles inferno if you don't know singles inferno is basically a dating show it's like the korean love island that's literally what it is like the korean love island except the group is kind of smaller it's kind of like a group with about 12 10 people um male and female and they're on the island to find love find a relationship find somebody they're compatible with right over a certain group of days and basically throughout the island they have to work together it's kind of like they're kind of living like castaways, you know what I mean? And it's kind of crazy. They they don't really have luxurious food. They kind of have their basic necessities like water, fruits, vegetables, spam. Like, <laughs> they don't really got much. And basically, on the course of their time on the island, they are supposed to complete these challenges and match up with somebody in order to go on a getaway trip. A one, like, 24-hour, not even 24 hours, because do they even go at the beginning of the day? Well... Technically, it's supposed to be like a 24 hour or just like one night at a luxurious hotel. So, yeah, let's get into the things that I have to say. Okay, first things first, what I said. Minji is childish as fuck and gives, and gives side chick vibes. What was she crying for? It was childish and disrespectful. So what I'm talking about is on the latest episode... Basically, the episode before that, right, Guan He and Minji had been, you know, because I feel like, okay, here's this with Guan He. Guan He is one of those guys where it's like, he can't contain himself. Like, I wouldn't lie. I think Guan He has definitely cheated on a girl before in the past that we probably don't know about and we probably might not ever know about. But he gives, like, a typical man, like, when there's something new in his face, he can't help but be like, oh my gosh, new toy. So, basically, Minji is the newest newest girl on the block of course guan he has his options his options are always open it doesn't matter what he's telling the other girls like ha Seon and ha jong his options are always open and of course when he saw minji i mean you know his roster is always open he's always looking for a new for a new um a new teammate to join the roster and minji is the newest thing on the block that's what my opinion i don't think First of all, I don't think Guan He and Minji have anything serious going on. I truly believe Guan He is only interested in Minji because she is a new energy. He hasn't talked to her. He's curious. Guan He is always looking for the next new thing. That's why I feel like, you know what I mean? He's always looking for the next new thing. So basically, previously, they took a trip to Inferno um well no inferno is the island but they took a trip to the luxurious hotel they spent a night there and was i the only one that was cringing like i didn't find it cute or anything like first of all i get it minji is supposed to be the new bombshell but here's another reason why i don't like minji let me just say that 
first things first, I don't like Minji. Something about her energy when she came off was just like, it, something in my spirit was just like, I just don't like this girl. I didn't really know why, but shit, we, we soon find out because my spirit never lies, right? So, um, when they were in the hotel, like, it just seems like Minji tries too hard. Like, I get she's supposed to be the bombshell. She's supposed to steer the boys off course and, like, mess up a couple relationships for drama. But it's giving she's trying too hard. Like, when you're a bombshell, it comes naturally. Like, you naturally do certain things. I think Minji is trying too hard. She's, she knows how to flirt. I will give this. Minji has more game than... Hold on. Okay, so I finally found her name. She's like the least popular because basically after the show, they all blow up and they capitalize off the fame. They do some Q&As or whatever as a group. Min Young. Minji has more game than Min Young. So that's one thing I'll give to her. She is catching a lot of the boys' attention. But the main reason why I didn't like her is because even her face and just the way her her energy is, it's very childish. It's like an underdeveloped woman. And that's what I didn't like about her. So when they were in like the hotel, it, it was just giving she's trying too hard. Like you're trying too hard. When she said she gonna put on her pajamas and um, she returned with a backless dress? Sis, you trying too hard. It's just like, she, she there's no way she's like, older than 19 like she gives me 19 18 year old vibes and i'm an 18 year old girl this is coming from an 18 year old girl minji gives me 19 year old vibes she has to be 19 years old there's no way there's no way and somebody clocked that t when basically when she was with um guan he her pajamas was a backless dress but when she was with um minkyu her pajamas was a shirt with some pants and her hair pulled back. Like, I don't know. I just feel like with Guan He, she was trying too fucking hard. And there's something else I'm going to mention that might be the reason why she was trying too hard. But, like, it was like she was trying more hard with Guan He than she, she was with Jin Suk. And her and Jin Suk, I felt like the energy was more natural. It was flirtatious. But Guan He, it's like she's trying too fucking hard. I just didn't really... I don't know. Like, I didn't really, like... I don't really like, okay, it was just like, okay, Guan He likes this girl because she's a new a new thing on the block, new hot thing on the block. And she likes Guan He because what? Like she's just here to disturb everybody's fucking relationship. I don't know. But yeah, when Minji was on the helicopter and they were about to fly off, and this is the latest season, I mean the latest episode, by the way, and they were about to fly off to the hotel, except this time they weren't going together. This time Guan He picked Hassan, Hassan, and um, because no Hassan picked Guan He, and because the option was taken away, Guan He was taken away. Minji ended up just picking Minkyu as a backup. Stop picking Minkyu as a backup. He is too nice. First of all, that's just one thing I want to say. Minkyu, you are too nice. Cause I would have been like, girl, anyways, like I would have rolled my eyes. But um, basically, while they're on the plane, Minji's childish ass is like fucking poking him on the shoulder as he's sitting next to Haseon. She's like sitting there like, like nudging him. And first of all, let me tell you something. I hate when people do this. If I'm sitting next to you, please don't do this shit. Cause I'm going to yell at you. I hate it. I don't know what it is, but it's like the force of you. And then it's like my shoulder, like that shit fucking hurts. That's a bone. Like, so she was just being childish. She kept poking him, like going like this. And um, as a normal fucking person would, um, Guan He kind of ignored that shit because he's literally sitting next to Hassan. Like, I don't know if she thought she ate that up. I don't know if she thought she was going to eat that up. But it's kind of disrespectful and childish as fuck. Like, you're poking him. Like, you can't at least talk to him. Like, she was poking him. And Minkyu is sitting right there. Like... <laughs> and I guess because he didn't respond to her, she starts crying. Let me tell you something. If I see Minji cry one more fucking time, let me tell you something. Boo hoo. Cry again. Because what does she keep crying for? Like, what is she crying for? Like, it's just childish vibes. So she starts crying and Minkyu, the gentleman he is, offers the shirt. Me personally, I wouldn't have offered. He basically offered like this part of his shirt, like the end of his shirt. And I wouldn't have offered shit. Girl, why would you do that? 
Like, that was that really necessary? And, you know, she's crying, drawing attention to herself. I feel like she honestly cries as a manipulation tactic at this point. I just think that's her way of flirting and, like, getting the boys to be like, oh, like, you're crying. Like, I'm sorry, but her crying is not doing anything for me because the shit she cries about is very weird. Like, I can't, I'm not saying, like, she can't cry. But you're crying about the most unnecessary shit. Like, the, it, the the episode before this, the episode before she's crying on a helicopter, right? They were in a competition, and she basically lost the competition, and she started crying. And, of course, you know, the guys were like, oh, my God, are you okay? This was my face. What is she crying about? Like, literally, what was she crying about at this point? Either you're really that immature or you're crying as a manipulation tactic because I don't understand. And meanwhile, she's shedding all these tears. Guan He is still ignoring her. I mean, in the he didn't ignore her that well. I don't know if he did. But in the hol- in the helicopter, he ignored her. And I was like, honestly, I would do the same. Like, it was just very weird. Like, and then in the helicopter, not only does she give childish, but it gave very much mistress. It gave side chick. It gave very much like. You know when a girl's when a girl when a guy is cheating on his wife with like a side chick, but then they probably spend some time together, and after they spend some time together, um, you know she starts to feel like she should be the main chick because they spend so much time together. But then she gets humbled because the guy is like, "Well, I knew her before you, so no, you can't take her spot." That's what it gave. It gave like. I'm with my main chick right now. Like, we can't we can't do that right now. Like, that's exactly... Y'all cannot tell me you didn't get that. Anyways, moving on. Um, yeah, overall, I just don't see Minji, Minji's charm. Like, Minji is very... She's very witty. That's one thing I'll say. Her, her comebacks and her flirtation and her one-liners, very good. I'm not gonna lie. I, I, I was this close to picking up a book and a pencil. And writing down the shit she was saying. Because it was, it was eating... She was eating up. She, she, ate, she ate the guys up. But I think the real appeal to her is her childish nature. And I don't really like it. And speaking of Minji and her childish nature, let's get on to Minji and Jin Suk's little thing they had going on. First of all, it made me very uncomfortable. Because of not only the age gap that I'm pretty sure they have, but Minji, not only, it's like Minji has this very childish energy, right? And Jin Suk, let's be for real, Jin Suk is giving daddy, he's giving older man, mature vibes. So their relationship made me very uncomfortable. Like something about it, I just it just gave very much like cringy ass fucking daddy daughter, like, oh my baby, like, you know, you're so sweet, you you know, oh my bunny. Like that's what it gave. It just made, uh, like, I'm sorry, ain't no way y'all was eating that, that little situation ship up. Minji and Jin Suk made me cringe. Like, what was going on? It gave daddy daughter vibes. It gave 70 shades of gray. Like, what was going on? And speaking of Jin Suk, let me just say this. Jin Suk is delusional. I think Jin Suk has this constant pattern of getting like infatuated with the girls he's with. You know what I mean? What did I write down? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Oh yeah, yeah, whatever. Let's just let's just get on Jin Suk real quick. He just gives very much like obsessive vibes. Like once he likes somebody, that's it. Like honestly, I don't know why Jin Suk would, sh- would sign up for a show like this because it seems like when he likes somebody, he likes somebody. Like he's not looking nowhere else. And it's like, why would you be on a reality show? Like I don't know. Jin Suk is just very weird to me. He's too obsessive, and he becomes infatuated with one person. It's very weird. Um, but. Moral of the story, let's close out Minji, right? This is going to be the last time I really mention Minji for real. Minji, last thing. Minji is not here for love. She is not trying to find a relationship. She is not here on serious terms. Minji is just here for a good time, not a long time. She is just here for the food, the drinks, the flirtation, the trips. That is all she is here for. That is it. And she said this previously. It was... It was in the um the episode before the last one when she was in the hotel with Guan He. She said something like, "Oh, I'm just really here for fun." Like she said, I forgot what she said, but I was like, "Aha! 
That's why you were chosen as the bombshell. Because I'm going to be honest with you, Minji is not bombshell material. Like, visually. I'm like, this is supposed to be the bombshell? Like, was anybody else like that watching the show? I was like, this is what y'all... This is what y'all y'all came with? Like, this was the bombshell? Oh, and then she started talking and I was like, oh, that's why she's the bombshell. You're not really on here for love. So it doesn't matter when you come. If anything, if you come last, it's better because you don't have to fake like you want to be in a relationship. She is just here. I think Minji is just here for clout. I think she's here for clout. And I think she's just here for the free food and the free trips. Plus, she's a college student. And I'm like, and that was another thing that like turned me off about her and Jin Suk. Like Jin Suk, he's a full grown man. He has a full fledged career. He's ready to settle down. Minji is a college student and she works a job and is in college. As a college student who is about to work a job and be in college, you cannot be in a relationship. There's no way. You got to build yourself up first. You got too much going on. So Minji is not here seriously. And I honestly don't care what happens to her in the end because she said it. Like, if y'all, y'all need to listen. When people talk, listen to what, like, actively listen to what they say. She's not here seriously. That's all I'm going to say. But let's get back to Guan He. Guan He is also not serious as well. I think he's, like, more serious than Minji. But to be honest with you, I don't see Guan He being in a relationship anytime soon. I think he probably needs to go see, like, a counselor or, like, he needs to do some shadow work, some eternal work on himself because Guan He's heart changes wherever the wind blows. Like he he goes to wherever the wind blows to. Like he's very finicky. He is very much like one minute I like you, the next minute I don't. Very weird. And like I said, he's only interested in Minji because she is someone new. He did that with Hajan. And that's why I don't feel bad for how he's treating Hajan right now. Because when before he met Hajun, he was with Hasan, right? And Hajun was completely fine with him switching up and being with her. Now he's doing the same thing to you. How you get them is how you lose them. This is a perfect example of how you get them is how you lose them. You know what I mean? So I don't really feel bad. Like, uh, anyway. Another thing I was confused with, why did Guan He want... Minji to choose Jin Suk and not Minkyu. Why would you want her to choose Jin Suk? If anything, I would have said don't choose Jin Suk because he is the last guy you had a real connection with. And that's what I'm saying. He's like, oh, you know, I just want you to be with Jin Suk because I think he's a respectable. Like, are you trying to sign her off in a new relationship? Like, that was very weird to me. My theory for that is that he probably knew when he, once he got with Haesun that he would probably like her a lot less and his mind would change because, like I said, goes wherever the wind blows. And um, maybe he was like, I don't know, maybe he was like, if anything, I want her to be with, I don't know, does he not find Jin Suk attractive? I think he just is like, I think he's scared of Min Kyu, And I think he sees Min Kyu as like heavy competition, but that really, that really didn't make sense to me. I was like, okay, whatever. <laughs> Um, but yeah, last thing I have to say about Guan He, Guan He appears to be manipulative as fuck. I'm pretty sure this is not news to you guys, but a manipulative as fuck. And have y'all noticed, because someone mentioned this and it really like struck a chord because I'm like, what changed? Like, why are Hajun and Hasan like Hajun has really changed a lot and I don't like it. Like, it seems very weird of a change, y'all. Guan He has literally sucked the energy and the life out of Hasan and Hajun. And I really think Hajun got the brunt of it because he was so hard on, on Hajun. Honestly, I'm glad him and Hajun, I think I'm glad he doesn't like Hajun anymore because Guan He and Hajun's relationship gave me best friend vibes. Like it gave bestie, it gives like my best friend's older brother. Like it wasn't really giving like, relationship plus they were too toxic for each other like the relationship was too toxic i don't know what i don't know why hajan likes him so much i think she's like addicted to the bickering and all that but like the bickering doesn't always give couple vibes like when you're a couple it's not always bickering it, like you have to have moments where it's like just peace and love and that's what i saw with him and hasan and that's why i said him and hajan should not be together it's toxic as fuck and they give bestie vibes like i could see them being best friends outside of the show um, 
But yeah, girl, I don't know. Hajun's a little obsessed with him. But he literally sucked the energy out of, like, look at how they are now and look at how they once were. Especially Hajun, like, she was upbeat, she was fiery, she was this, she was that. And then it got calmed down a lot. And I honestly think it's because dealing with Guan He has honestly tired the fuck out of both of them. But hey. Another thing on Guan He, I'm sorry, we gonna go in on Guan He ass. Guan He is immature as fuck. He is immature and he is a boy, not a man. And I say this respectfully because not only does Guan He just change his mind for whatever reason because his mind changes where the wind blows, but it's also why is he in the dorm gossiping to the guys about the girls? And half the time, they don't even be getting shit right. Like, if you're going to gossip, at least speak the truth. They be saying some random shit and it doesn't make sense. And who, um, I wrote their fucking names down. It really be Min-Q and Hot, Hot, Hobbin. Hobbin. Hobbin be saying, I don't know what he, he be pulling shit out his ass. Because whenever Hobbin starts gossiping with Guan He and Guan He like a dumbass listens to Hobbin, Guan, Hobbin doesn't even have a relationship of his own. Why the fuck are you listening to him? And then it's like, they just be gossiping about the girls and then they just be saying shit that either number one don't make sense or just flat out is completely wrong. So it's like, I don't know. I don't know. Me personally, I feel like that's very much sassy, girly behavior. Like sitting in a room gossiping with a bunch of men about girls. If you really have a question, ask these girls straight up to their face. Don't, I don't do that he say, she say. Like I don't, that's very unattractive to me. If you have an issue with me, I want you to be real and come up to me and address it. Not go around and play telephone. So that really was like a no-go for me. I was like, absolutely not. But moving on. Um, it's really crazy to me how Guan He abandoned Ha Jung. And it was this one specific conversation where I knew it was over with. And I think that's when Ha Jung had approached him after he was talking to Minji in like this little tree hut thing when they were outside. And they was basically just talking about like what's going on and like what happened. And I'm not gonna lie, the more they kept talking, it just seemed like Guan He was finding excuses to just basically say, look. I don't really like you like that anymore. And I want Hajon to let Guan He go. Let him go. Let that man go, girl. He is not all that. I don't know why she is holding on to this boy by a thread. Let him go, girl. He does not want you anymore. And I know Guan He's type. Guan He's type is very weird. It's like, you know, at the beginning, everything is cool. Everything's great. And then you, the more you stick around, the more you find out you're actually kind of weird and toxic. Like, he's very insecure as well. Like, we could just keep going on Guan He. He's insecure as fuck. Why the fuck do you need to keep asking questions like, oh, would you go out with him? What would you do if this guy came up to you? Oh my gosh, what about this? Like, it's just, it's rooted in insecurity and I can't stand it. And I want Hajan to release that man. Let him go. He does not want you anymore. And I would really hate to see another woman chase after Guan He. Guan He is not loyal to nobody his heart changes where the wind blows the only reason why giddy is not on his roster is because giddy saw the red flag from a mile away he fucked up and he slipped up by sh slipping off his mask when he said that um thing one thing two and thing three aka hajun hasan and giddy was next on his roster and they and he liked them all like 30 percent he fucked up and he said that too early. Mind you, I don't know why he would say that in front of Giddy because if he paid attention, Giddy is very much like standoffish. He's very much defensive. So it's like you just lessened your chances even more of going out with her. I just think, in my opinion, that Giddy is the dream girl that he will never get to date because of the way he is. <laughs> so I think that was just a fantasy and that's not ever going to happen. But. That's all I have to say about Guan He right now. He's just immature, manipulative, insecure. We can continue. And he just likes whatever is new in his face. Um, but yeah, he also said like something really fucked up. He was like, honestly, Minji is more my type, but Haseon would be my wife. And she does give wife material. I'm glad you you said that. But to say that she's not your type. 
I don't like that at all. Like, that was very fucked up. No girl wants to hear that. I really hope Hassan follows her heart and doesn't choose this man at all. I wouldn't be mad if Minji and fucking, um, Guan He ended up together. Like, I wouldn't be mad. That's all I'm going to say. But that's it on Guan He. So, so far, we talked about Guan He. We talked about, well, we didn't really get into Jin Suk, but we talked about Guan He and we talked about um, Minji. I'm sorry, y'all. This is so long, but that's because I only have so much to share. Um, I'm not going to continue because I feel like videos that like get past a certain time, it's time to cut it off. But there will be a part two uploaded sh shortly after. Just, you know, engage with this. Let me know what y'all think. And I'll see y'all on the next one. Bye.